I guess we consider ourselves a pop act. We like to appeal to everyone, but we also like to have, you know, a layered meaning. We also dip our toes in the underground. We say we're between the underground and the pop world. A kind of confused limbo of which we're actually quite happy to be in. We uh, pride ourselves on traditional uh, elements of showmanship. And I guess uh, having a band is just a natural progression. It's also a chance to bring your friends along for the ride. We're just always trying to outdo ourselves and provide entertainment. And there's so many ways to do that visually, conceptually. It's about creating a sort of multi-sensory experience. We've just bought our limousine. Wherever we can take it, we do. We're in Hobart right now. We couldn't get it on the Spirit of Tasmania, unfortunately. That kind of sets the tone when people enter the show. They see the limousine out the front. There's there's always an opportunity to create an experience outside of the show itself as well. So, you know, we're like mid tour at the moment, and it's really important that we, we make an effort to take this experience in. We're, we're tourists in our own country. Like, what a privilege! It's really nice driving as well in the limousine because you're actually connected. God, what colour would you call that? That's a jade. I don't know. The limo service uh, launches after the tour ends. Uh, Quite obviously, we're using it at the moment, fully booked it out, cruising around the country. You'll be able to book it for weddings, uh, formals. If you just need to nip up to the shops to get some milk and sugar, uh, you can actually do that. Uh, I like that idea of getting milk and sugar. <laughs> I think the saying is usually uh, milk and bread, but <laughs> anyhow, you know, we're going to be getting people from A to B, and that's going to be cool. We're always looking for um, inspiration. That idea of the uh, corporate mythology, the nomadic businessman, and woman for that matter. So boating is something we haven't explored. Something commercial, like fishing, fishing trawler, but then like make it glamorous. It's so. something that uh, we think has got a lot of substance. I mean, people take what they want from client liaison. It's, there's uh, many layers to choose from, and if you just want the top layer, you can have that. But uh, like a well-cooked lasagna, and a dodgy analogy. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of layers to to tuck into. You can take it as music. You can take it as performance, um, or you can take it as a mythology, as a philosophy, as a narrative. At its core, client liaison is an opportunity to create and have fun. It's yeah, it's a story that we like to keep on telling.